Corky, you're a bad dog. I told you to leave that cat alone. Now, don't do it again. He sure keeps you busy. Corky, you good for nothing dog. Your head's just plain full of mischief. Leaving, are you, Mr. Dudley? Yes, Abigail, I've got to go to town on important business. When will you be back? Tomorrow night. That's what you said the last time. Well, then Monday morning at the latest. Mm -hmm.
gay rascal. You can come. But you'll have to behave yourself. We're going to town. Martin, tell me how to get to the Brooklyn Bridge. Why? You thinking of buying it? Oh, no. Well, it's been sold, hasn't it? I guess so. Now, if you don't mind, I'll be going. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I've been too fresh. Well, I wouldn't call it fresh exactly. Not good enough to be fresh. Well, it's just that I don't know my way around. You see, I just came in from the mountain. Don't tell me you came from the country. Uh, buy a bunch of your sweetheart. Mm -hmm. oh, well, buy no. one. Look, she's a so beautiful. Yes, she is. Please, mister, I got a five bambino to feed. May I? Well, we can't let the bambino starve, can no. we? Have you changed? <laughs> For twenty dollars. <laughs> hey, haven't you anything smaller? No, oh, I'm sorry. Twenty dollars is the smallest bill I have. Oh, but that's nothing to be sorry about. Why don't you let me stick you to a dime? Mmm, they smell grand. Wanna smell? Mm -hmm. What are you, the fuller brush man? The what? What are you carrying that sample case around for? Oh, this. Well, I just came from the station. Oh, sleeping here? <laughs> no, but I'm looking for a place. Hey, uh, do you know a good boarding house? Well, the Ritz is a mighty nice place. Oh, are you staying there? No. <laughs> hey, I have an idea. I think my landlady has some vacancies. Okay. Okay. Drive east down 32nd Street and go easy over the bump.
I found out pretty quick there are two things a girl needs in this town. Money to pay her bills and to know all the answers. Uh, where do you work? In a store? Behind the counter for 12 bucks a week? I work in a burlesque suit. Burlesque? Well. well that's pretty hard work, isn't it? You drink gin? Well, I guess so. Hey, do you eat cheese? What is this, a gag? No, special for my own farm. I invented it. You invented it? Put that stuff in the trap. That guy's in a lot of screwy rackets, but you're the first cheese inventor I ever ran into. Now, if you'd invented something like this, Mm, you've been eating that cheese. Well, of course. That's what it's for. That's about all we eat on the farm now. We? You got a wife that eats that cheese? No, a dog. Hey, Corky. Hey, where is he? I gotta find him. No, you haven't. Well, nobody's lost. I know. He's your pal. I'm sorry. I have to find Corky. Oh, 
Where's the king? 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 Where's
swayed by temptation and my fortune must Like angry waters madly surging by, my song becomes a torrent sweeping to the sky. Like birds in spring that ring. My heart is out a song. Honestly, it wasn't my fault. I'm sorry you lost your job. Isn't there anything I can do? Sure, you can turn out to be my long-lost uncle from Alaska with a million dollars. I wish I could. Oh, forget about it. Come on, help me get my stuff in here. Oh. Well, here we are again. Hey, here's a letter for you. my mother. Oh, you got a family living? Only mother. Holy mackerel. What's the matter? She's coming to New York. Can you imagine? Well, what's so terrible about that? Terrible? Here. Look. Oh, she looks like a real nice mother. That's the trouble. She's one of those mothers. Blue eyes. Never did a rotten thing in her life. Bakes muffins and Leaves in God. Is that so awful? Oh, I guess I could stand all that. The awful part is she believes in me. What does she believe? The worst. And I'm married to a decent guy with a steady job, and then we got a baby. She doesn't know you work in a show, huh? If she had any idea a daughter of hers worked in a burlesque show, she'd die. Gee, I wish there was something I could do to help. Say, listen. You might at that. What? Look, for my mother's sake, would you do me a favor and fake you were married to me? Oh, you're just the kind of fellow she'd want me to be married to. It'd only be for a couple of days. Would you do it? What would we do for a baby? A friend of mine's got one. I'll rent it from her. Odd, isn't it for me? If she finds out about me, it'll break her heart. Come on, be a good sport. Oh, that's 
Forget about it. You know, you're funny trying to be so tough about all this. All the time, you love your mother just as much as anybody else. Sure. I'll do it. Oh, thanks. Thank you. Say, what's your name? Dudley. Thanks, Dudley. You're certainly a big help to mother. I've been waiting to see you for a long time and to give you a kiss, and I'm not going to wait any longer. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> sweet, mother. Yes, this is Junior, Mrs. Poole. Oh, just like his father. Well, they all say he's a mighty handsome child. Give me that baby. He's mine. Well, he's a Well, now, isn't that a funny thing? I picked up the wrong one. He's so excited because you're here, mother. Just like a man. Oh, you. Darling. Oh, darling. You little darling. Oh, my. Isn't he the sweetest? Well, here we are. And this is the love. Then you a kitchen and a living room. All anyone could ask for. A husband, a wife, and a baby. Oh, you darling. Come on, Mother. Let's take off your coat. Well, well, I'm so glad to be here. in leaving home, dear. There wasn't anything on Center Street like this. I'll say there wasn't. Well, I'll go fix a little supper. You two sit down and have a little talk. And there wasn't a husband like you in our whole county. But, dear, I've got to thank you for all the money you sent me. Oh, yeah, the money. Of course, Nancy sent it every week, but I know where it came from. But I wish you didn't have to do it. Oh, well, that's all right. I'm glad you liked it. Now, sit down and tell me where you met Nancy and, and what your business is and, and everything. But before you begin, I'm not coming here to live with you. I had my own mother-in-law underfoot for 15 years. Now, tell me. Well, would it be all right later? You see, I always help Nancy with the dinner. Isn't that nice and thoughtful? Of course. I'll help, too. Nancy, I'll make the biscuits. Do you remember the kind of biscuits you all Hey, Sonny, Sonny. Nancy, I guess you better come here. Get 
out of here doing fine. I'm all right as long as that kid keeps his yap shut. How'd I know he wasn't housebroken? Then look, leave the baby to her. Leave her to me and we'll be all right. Look, Dudley, forget about what I said this morning. I'm sorry. You're okay. That was very good. You're a good cook, Dudley. Now, wait a minute. Sit down. Oh, we'll yes. do the clearing. Well, I'll see who it is. What's the matter, Mrs. Smith? Well, I, I got thinking about my baby. I better take him back. Well, but he's busy. We need him. Well, I'm worried. You see, he's never been out all night before. Oh, but Mrs. Smith, you promised and we paid you. Well, I'll, I'll give you back some money. Oh, let me get him. Now, please, wait a minute. Talk to Nancy, will you? Just a minute. Uh, Nancy, Mrs. Smith wants to talk to you, dear. Excuse me, Mother. Well, will you uh, have some more, Mother? Listen, honey, lay off, will you? Leave us alone just till tomorrow. Well, I'm scared. What are you doing with him? Oh, we're taking great care of him. My mother's in there bossing the job. Well, tomorrow, when Nancy has more time, we'll have a better dinner for you. I paid all your bills when the baby came. Now's your chance to pay me back. Well, all right. I better get some more coffee. Hey, we gotta get the old lady to bed. That dame gets the jitters and comes back again. We're through. Oh, well, you get the coffee. Why, it's nice having you here, Mrs. Poole. Will you have some cake? No, thanks. Some more coffee? No, it always keeps me awake. Now, if you two children want to go to the movies or something, Grandma, stay home with the baby. Oh, that's awfully sweet, Ma. But <laughs> well, we couldn't trust you. You couldn't trust me? Well, to stay awake, I mean. Yes. <laughs> you see, you've had a long trip on the train. Yes, and a lot of surprises, too. You ought to get some sleep. You might get that old lumbago or something and be in bed for weeks. Besides, we always go to bed early. Right after dinner. All right. I do feel a little bit tired. I'll sleep out here. Oh, no. Uh, no. Uh, you'll sleep in the bedroom with Nancy. Oh, no. Sure. No, no, I've inconvenienced you children up. I'll sleep right here. No, but I have to sleep here. You see, it's the baby. He snores all night. You wouldn't get a wink of sleep. I'm not going to separate husband and wife. You two children are going right to your bed. Now, don't be stubborn. Mother. You hear what he calls me? Mother, no wonder you couldn't resist him. All right, son. Good night. Good night. I'll be in later, Mother. I didn't know they came like you around here. They don't. I'm from the country. You're worth more than all the men I ever met. Good night. Good night.
Why aren't you asleep? I couldn't sleep. Why, what's the matter? Oh, you've been crying. Okay, now, come on, go back to bed. Everything's going great. I kept dreaming about you. That we was married. Well, we are for the weekend. And then I woke up. I realized what a dirty trick I'd done you. And how swell you've been about it. I got to thinking what a louse you must think I am. Oh, no. First I try to steal your money and you lose your dog who's probably worth two of me. Your weekend all shot to pieces and what do you get for it? Nothing. Well, I don't want anything. Now, come on, go back to bed. Did you see what you're doing to me? You poor fool. You're making me fall in love with you. You ain't got troubles enough as it is. What are you worrying about? It looks like she's going to stay with us. What about the kid? What about you? You got all those radishes waiting for you on the farm. Well, forget about them. But I can't keep you here all week. Even if I could, the kid can't stay. Oh, it's no good. I got to tell her. No, you don't. Now, how does that look to you? Looks like the good old days. Remember when your father used to put brandy on it and light it? Say, Father. I don't know if we have any in the house. Have we, darling? Will Jim burn? It might. Bring it in here. It burns all right. Better try that on the pudding. Want a shot? No, thanks. Hey, what's this for? Part of my emergency kit for tired working girls. Yeah, well, I'll take care of it for you. Hey, don't you think you better take that stuff easy? You gotta have something. I'll go nuts. That dame will be back here for the baby, and she's bound to find out. Yeah, she's not gonna find out anything. Now cut it out. And you're gonna ruin everything, huh? I've ruined it long ago. Now, don't you think I can hold a couple? You hold a couple if you never held them before in your life. Now, oh, come on. Everything's going to be all right. Say, don't you ever get tired of saying that? Everything's going to be all right. How do you know? How does anybody know? Now, oh, Nancy, please. Why, oh, Mother, <laughs> we're just having a little celebration. You see, it's our first anniversary. Oh, that's a cute piece. What is it? Why, Mother, you don't mind a little drink now and then, do you? Oh, no. We always had something to drink in the house at Christmas and the Fourth of July. Oh, Merry Christmas. Nancy's father said I never was any good at it, though. You see, it makes me laugh at everybody, and, and then I go to sleep. Oh, good. Wow. Well, here's laughing at you. about my gin. What? You might be the best cook, but I'm the best gin maker in this family. What? Oh, Nancy, you're so funny. <laughs> yeah. I'm funny, all right. Well, here's a Merry Fourth of July. Go on, it's good for the old lumbago. Hey, how about my lumbago? 
That one wasn't so bitter. It wasn't bitter at all. Now, it's sweet. It's sweet. Yeah, it's sweet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Did he have his milk this morning and again at noon? Why, yes. Then he hasn't had his bath. That's it. He always cries when he hasn't had his bath. But I gave it to him myself. Well, I'm glad of that. Nancy may be a fine dancer, but she don't know much about taking care of babies. Has Nancy learned to dance? Sure. Didn't you know she was dancing in a burlesque show? A burlesque show? My Nancy dancing in a common burlesque show. Well, she's got to earn a living. But she's married. No, oh, sort of. Sort of? You mean she isn't married? Mm, not exactly. And this baby is illegitimate? My children are all legitimate. That's Nancy's baby. No, it isn't. It's really mine. Nancy borrowed it. Then what about Dudley? I don't know. I, I guess, guess she borrowed him, too. Oh. I can't believe it. Maybe I shouldn't have told you. Oh, I'm glad you told me. You mustn't blame Nancy. She's a swell girl. She just had hard luck. She's too generous, that's her trouble. Always giving away her money. And men have been awful mean to her. Men? She thinks she knows them. Thinks she's tough. But she isn't. She figured she couldn't go home because... she didn't want to admit that she was a flop. My poor little Nancy. You mustn't blame her. If you go back on her, I don't know. I guess you're about all she's got left. I won't go back on her. Funny how you understand them when they're part of you. Well, we'll leave the baby. You need him now. I need him now more than ever. Please. Just till this afternoon. I won't get him out of my sight. I promise. All right. There I was, alone, in the middle of the sagebrush, when suddenly I heard a noise. I wheeled around, expecting anything. And there, before my eyes, stood this genuine Australian zebra poodle. <laughs> I was amazed. And all I'm asking is seven dollars. What's the matter, Mother? Nothing, nothing. I brought you some flowers. Oh, thank you, Dudley. 
You're always doing nice things for people, aren't you? Hey, you're sure there's nothing wrong? No, no, no. Oh, I guess you're not happy here with us. Say, so how would you like me to take you home? I've been dying to see the old place again. Yes, she's always talking about it. And I haven't been out of the city in three years, and I'm sick of it. I should think you would be. You and I can get on the train. Then they'll stay here with the baby. You always wanted me to. Just you and me. Like I'd never gone away. Wouldn't that be swell? That would be swell. Then you'll do it. Whenever you're ready. <laughs> It's Corky. Get some bandage and alcohol. Oh, he's all right. It's not as bad as I thought. I haven't got any real alcohol. Would Jim be all right? Well, I guess so. love them a lot, don't you? Sure I do. Dogs have it easy, don't they? Not like people. All twisted up with money and gin and a million other things. Well, people in the city, maybe. But in the country, it's different. Things are simpler. Well, you ought to know that. You live there. Wish I'd never gone away. How'd you like to go back? With Corky. And me. Are you asking me to take up housekeeping with you? Of course, if, if you'd like to. Do you mean it, Dudley? Nancy, I'm crazy about you. Will you? Where'd I get off to get my hooks in a man like you? me to go with him. I don't blame you. Well, we'll visit you soon. Say, I got a marvelous place. I'm glad. I know I'm old-fashioned, I admit it, but I can't help it. I haven't any faith in city people, not even in city ministers. 
promise me that as soon as you get back to the farm, you'll be married again by a good old-fashioned country minister. Will you? How about it? I'll say we will. <laughs> 